Hey YouTube, this is KShar22 here, and I know I haven't brought you guys a new video in a while, but that's because football season has started, and I practice every day for basically four hours because I go there early to work out, but uh, I also injured my back, so I've been trying to stay off the computer because that, that really hurts my back, but uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to disable a button on your uh, keyboard. So let's say you need the Windows key disabled. You're going to disable the Windows key. You can also disable things like Control Alt Delete and Escape and uh, Alternate Tab stuff like that, you guys. And uh, pretty soon, I'm hoping the next video I'm going to show you guys how to get iMessage on your Windows computer. I made it. It's pretty nice. It's very easy and simple to use, and I kind of I help produce it. So. Uh, so let's get started with this video. First off, you're going to want to create a new project, and this is in Visual Basic. So, uh, yep, I'm in Visual Basic. We're going to be creating a Windows form application. Name it whatever you'd like. Hit OK. I just actually got off practice. I'm like half, uh, half asleep right now. So uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you two buttons, an on and an off button. So let's just set up an on and off. I'll do a Windows key. And in the description, you'll actually find the code that you'll need. And it'll be on pastebin.com. It'll be the first thing that you see in the uh, description. So in uh, the de declarations, the general, you're going to paste that right in there. Then we're going to have uh, some privates and public functions and this and that and actually forget about this for now the form close and form load we don't really want that just so I can show you guys what that's all for so go ahead and paste that above the form one load or whatever your form name is and you shouldn't have any errors if you do go ahead comment below and I'll help you out uh, now for these two this will actually set the hook this is what's gonna turn it on and this is what's going to turn it off so if i want the start button blocked i'm going to copy that i'm going to hit the on button now if i want it to start up when the form loads i'm just going to paste it right there but in this case i just want it for the on button let's say when i want it turned off normally you're going to want that when the form closes but in this scenario scenario i want it on off so that way you guys can see what how it activates so remember this one's off and this one's on sorry on. Uh, that's really all I need to explain and let's see here maybe I can help you guys figure out keys so basically what it's gonna do is instead of using the start key it's gonna use the key called zoom so that really doesn't have an a effect on your computer or anything, so which is really nice. And maybe in the next video, but not right now because this video is really long as it is. I'll show you guys how to do other keys, but you guys should be able to figure that out on your own. It's not too hard. You might have to do a little Googling. And actually right here at the top is a link on where I found this code, so go check that out. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit start. And as you guys can see, my Windows key does work. Now when I hit on, hey you guys, make sure that you ran Visual Studio as administrator. And once you hit yes and try to disable it, you're going to get a error. What you're going to want to do is just uncheck the checkbox and hit continue. And uh, it should work. You m that's just like a warning. Uh, no worries. This is a voiceover, so because uh, I messed up. So as you can see, I'm hitting the Windows key, and you're just gonna hit yes, and it's not gonna work. And then you hit no, then it works again. But uh, that's all for this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.